As the movement for Palestinian rights has grown in the US, so too have concerted efforts to silence any criticism of Israel, particularly on US campuses. Students are being stymied, investigated, and disciplined. Faculty are being punished, and activists have been sued and arrested. Last year, Palestine Legal responded to 240 incidents of suppression, including baseless legal complaints, administrative disciplinary actions, bureaucratic barriers, false accusations of terrorism and anti-Semitism, et cetera. 80% of those incidents targeted stud students and professors on 75 different campuses. And this is just the tip of the iceberg of the suppression that's going on. These attacks often follow pressure or complaints from groups not only the ZOA, the Brandeis Center, the Amcha Initiative, Shrat Hadin, Stand With Us, the Simon Wiesenthal Center, the Anti-Defamation League, et cetera. Netanyahu has launched a full attack on BDS and Israel has declared it's the biggest threat it faces. Millions and millions of dollars are being spent to combat criticism of Israel and BDS in particular. Divestment resolutions across on campuses all over the country have faced opposition, not on their merits, but because of claims they're anti-Semitic. When the American Studies Association passed a resolution to endorse the call for boycott of Israeli academic institutions, they received death threats. Anti-BDS legislation isn't only in the US, of course. Israel itself has an anti-boycott damages law, and France has even criminalized BDS. Someone was arrested last week for, for a BDS, wearing a BDS t-shirt. These attacks are an extension of Israel's oppression of Palestinians living under occupation, under siege, under apartheid, and under attack. When there's no defense, the tactic is to try to stop the debate by intimidating and attacking your opponent. So Israel and its apologists are also attacking those standing up for Palestinian rights, wherever they are. Free speech is crucial to free inquiry, open debate, and the functioning of our democracy, especially at our universities, where open debate on issues of public concern tends to lead our nation's consciousness. Campus activism helped turn the tides of the Vietnam War and South African apartheid, and will eventually do the same here. The mounting repression against those who speak out against Israel's occupation and other violations of international law illustrates the power the movement for Palestinian rights has to expose those abuses and eventually bring them to an end.